Hello, hello, welcome back to Sunday Talk, episode number 129. In this episode, as uh, always, I'm gonna go over five questions I received from you guys. I uh, will uh, go over NVC update, quick update, and also I have another powerful quote for you guys today. If you are new here, my name is John. My goal is to help newcomers, permanent residents, and also US and citizens regarding uh, the immigration questions. And then sometimes uh, we talk about different topics and also I give advice to newcomers to the United States of America. I think it's very important so they can have a better life here once uh, they move to the, uh, to the state. Okay. So before I start today's video, I want to wish you guys a happy Sunday. I hope your day is going well. So guys, uh, let's start with the powerful quote that I have for you today. Uh, this quote is coming from unknown author. And then uh, here is the quote. Good things come to those who go get them. Again, good things come to those who go get them. Well, I think it's a very powerful quote. You know, no matter what you want in life, if you don't get up and go, you know, after that thing, you will never get it. Some of you guys are watching me right now. You want to come to the United States of America. You want to have a visa to come to the United States of America, but that's what you need to come anyway. But if you don't get up, start the process, you know, start, you know, asking a question about, you know, how you're going to come over here, what kind of visa you need, how to start a visa process. If it's an immigrant visa, how to start an immigrant visa process, go do your passport start putting all those documents you needed together if you don't start doing that chances are you will never come to united states of america okay so you have to do that and then go to the interview to see if you're gonna get a visa to come even if you go to the interview you don't get a visa you know that at least you try and then you will try it again until you get your visa to come to united states of america so the choice is clear. Somebody who sit down, who doesn't take action, compared to somebody who takes uh, action and go after what he or she want, that person will get him no matter what. If the person is persistent, he or she will get whatever it is uh, he, he's, he's, he or she is going after. So I think it's a powerful quote. Let me know in the description what you think about this quote. So let's start uh, with the questions. The first question of today's video is coming from Wally Wally. Here is the question. Hello, sir. I have a question concerning affidavit of support. If you don't mind, please. I'm file uh, I-130 for my mother, um, but I'm not working, and my cousin is the sponsor. Do we need two IA-64 and IA-64A, or just uh, IA-64, please? Well, thanks for the question. Uh, so, since you don't have income coming in, one thing you have to know is that you are the uh, principal sponsor. Therefore, you have to file uh, uh, IA64 yourself. Okay? You have to file IA64 yourself, even though you don't have uh, income coming in. Now, your cousin, if your cousin lives with you, your cousin can be a household member, therefore, he will uh, file um, IA64A. But in case your cousin doesn't live with you, he can be a joint sponsor. And as a joint sponsor, he will file the same affidavit of support um, as you, which is on IA64. Okay, that's how it works. So, to answer your question, um, if both of you live in the same house, so your cousin will be your household member. If your cousin lives somewhere else, then he will be your joint sponsor. So both of you will file the same affidavit of support. Okay? Uh, it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but just to you know make it clear. Let's move to the second question of today's video. Uh, this one will come from Udoka at the bc here's the question hi john thanks for the good work on please i don't understand the priority date i check mine is on january 2020 
and I was documentary qualified by September 15, 2021. I don't understand. Please, can you explain to me how it work? It's work. Well, thanks for the question. So, one thing uh, you have to know is that if you are immediate relative, meaning that you are a spouse of a, a green card, no a green card, you a citizen, you are child under age of U.S. citizen, you are a parent of a U.S. citizen, you don't have to worry about priority date, okay? You don't have to worry about it. So priority date is basically the date your petition was filed, okay? And people who pay attention to priority dates are people who are not immediate relative. Therefore, if you are not immediate relative, once on, let's say you, or you, you're gonna, the beneficiary will come to United States of America on immigrant visa. So, the visa bulletin board is where people who are not immediate relative will go to check if their priority date is current or not. So, if the priority date is current, that's when they will get a notification from uh, NVC. So, this one, like I say, I'm talking about consular process now i'm not talking about uh, somebody who's ad uh, adjusting his or her status here in the united states of america so in uh, the bulletin board we have a uh, date for filing and also final action date so if your priority date is current in the date for filing meaning that your priority date is before the date in the chart it means your priority date is current. Therefore, you will get uh, a welcome letter from NVC. So that's for the date for filing. In the final action date chart, that's when uh, you receive uh, 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 any of your appointment letter, you know, and then you go to, I mean, I'm, I mean, uh, the beneficiary. I'm talking about beneficiary. Will go to any of you. Okay, so. Again, if you are not immediate relative, you have to pay attention to the Visa Bulletin Board, which is published every month. I go over the Visa Bulletin Board every month. Okay, so again, priority date is just the date uh, your petition was filed, and you have to check that date against the date in the chart to see if your priority date is current or not. All right, all right. Let's move to the third question of today's video. It's coming from Kojo Andre Lionel Akakbo. Here's the question. Mr. John, how long the visa spouse will take to be approved? So spousal visa uh spousal uh, process roughly uh can take um uh, let's say uh, you are a green card holder, okay, you petition for your spouse. It can take like a year or even more before USCIS approve uh, the, the petition. If you are a U.S. citizen, you petition for your spouse. It can take six months to eight months before USCIS uh, approve it. Okay? So it depends on your, the petitioner status here in the United States of America. Let's move to the fourth question of today's video. This one will come from Arit uh, Cole. Here is the question. Hello, sir. If uh, category change from F to A to IR1, how much time it takes to get any of you? My case is done with uh, NVC. I'm waiting for any of you already. Should I need to upgrade uh, the case or not right now? I'm in mean, F to A category. Please don't reply, sir. Thank you. Well, if uh, your petitioner uh, is a, was a green card before he petitioned for you and now your petitioner becomes a US citizen that petitioner will contact NVC to let them know so they can upgrade the case once they update the case um, I'm sure they, they, I'm sure NVC and NVC will ask for proof like uh, um, naturalization uh, document okay then after that, NVC will automatically change uh, uh, your visa category from F to A to IR1, and the process is going to be a little bit faster. Okay, so basically, that's how it works. 
so right now i don't know if uh, your petitioner uh, is a u.s citizen yet becomes a u.s citizen yes if that's the case you tell him or tell her to contact uh, nvc to update uh, the petition okay and then let's move to the last question of today's video this one will come from hamayun himu here is the question hey dear can you please tell me the difference between i-130 and ds-260 well thanks for the question yeah i know some of you guys will think like oh this is easy um you know how come somebody doesn't know the difference between i-130 and ds-260 well some people don't know they are new in the process you know all those forms and kind of you know they're kind of confused when they hear all those names i-130 ds 260 ia64 all that so basically i-130 is on uh, the petition okay when somebody turn a petition for you that person if the person is a u.s citizen or green card holder that person will file i-130 okay that's the that's the petition the ds260 is basically let's say you live or you live overseas then uh, therefore you will need an immigrant visa to come to united states of america so after the i-130 is approved your case will move to nvc and uh, once nvc uh you know contact you send you a welcome letter to start the immigrant visa process you will pay fees uh, and then you will start uh, filing a ds260 which is an immigrant visa form so to answer your question i-130 is the petition form and ds-260 is the immigrant visa form like i said at the beginning of this video we're gonna go over nvc update quick on some of you guys uh, who missed my tuesday update well on tuesday uh, i made a video and uh, tell you you know what is going on at nvc so this monday nvc announced on their website that uh, they are working on cases they received from uscs on december 8th so it's like uh, they working on cases they receive on a week after okay which is good because like i say uh, a month ago they kind of stuck on october 26 for like a whole month now they start moving quicker again and then also some of you guys uh, who will send a document to nvc and waiting for nvc to review the document and let you know whether or not you are document to qualify what nvc announced on the website also that they are reviewing document they received from you guys on september 13 so they are reviewing those documents hopefully uh, you're going to be document to qualify and wait for your interview letter okay the third update always regarding emails and some of you guys on who send uh, nvc emails and asking different questions they are doing their best to respond to those uh, emails and also last monday they announced on their website that they are responding to emails they received from you guys on october 20. so make sure you check your email box so you don't miss any emails on coming from nvc national visa center because if you miss the email you won't know if they ask for additional document that can delay the whole process so pay attention to your email box your uh, spam folder and also you can log into nvc system to see if uh, you receive uh, any message from them so guys and um, basically that's what i have for you today i hope you love uh, this video if you do well please share this video with uh, somebody you think uh, might benefit from it if you like the video click on the like button if you wanna you know be notified every time i have a new video click on the bell if you are new here you want to subscribe to this channel all you gotta do is to click on the subscribe button it's free just click on that it's free okay once again my name is john thanks for watching and i talk to you guys on next sunday usa monday